The Vampire Lestat is the second novel in Anne Rice's influential The Vampire Chronicles series and delves into the life and philosophy of Lestat de Lioncourt, a brash and ambitious aristocrat who becomes a vampire. The story is told from Lestat's perspective and is structured as an autobiography in which he decides to reveal the true story of his life to dispel the myths perpetuated by Louis de Pointe du Lac, the protagonist of the previous book, Interview with the Vampire. Lestat's narrative begins in the 18th century in rural France, where he grows up as the son of an impoverished aristocrat. Lestat dreams of becoming an actor and escaping his grim provincial life. His chance comes when he joins a troupe of actors who appreciate his talent and daring attitude. Lestat enjoys modest success before his life takes a dark turn. One night after a performance, Lestat encounters the vampire Magnus, who forcibly transforms him into a vampire and then kills himself, leaving Lestat on his own to figure out his new existence. Lestat struggles with his new vampiric nature and the loneliness it brings, but gradually learns to enjoy his supernatural abilities and the freedom he has to explore, free from human constraints. Lestat's love for his family, particularly his mother Gabrielle, prompts him to visit them. Ultimately, he turns his mother into a vampire to save her from dying of consumption. Together, Lestat and Gabrielle travel to Paris. Their search for other vampires leads them to the legendary coven of the Théâtre des Vampires, a group of vampires who pretend to be human actors portraying vampires. Lestat is both drawn to and repelled by this community and its archaic laws, and he is especially fascinated by the coven's leader, Armand. Armand is centuries old and becomes both a mentor and a philosophical foil to Lestat as he presents a view of vampirism that is steeped in guilt and suffering. Rejecting Armand's fatalistic perspective, Lestat continues to search for meaning and knowledge about his kind. In his quest, he awakens the ancient vampire Akasha, the first vampire known as the Queen of the Damned, from her slumber. Akasha has a profound influence on Lestat due to her immense power and her own philosophy on vampires as a higher form of life meant to rule over humans. Though attracted to her power and beauty, Lestat is disturbed by her ruthlessness and her desire to subjugate humankind. Throughout the narrative, Lestat openly defies convention and chooses to share many vampire secrets through the songs of his rock band, which serves as the modern framing device for the story. Lestat has embraced the 20th century culture and technology to broadcast his tale to the world. His actions, however, provoke the ire of many older, more conservative vampires who see his public revelations as dangerous and blasphemous. Lestat's story is complicated by his relationships. His bond with his mother is strained by their differing views on immortality, leading Gabrielle to eventually leave him to explore the world on her own. Lestat also forms a deep, but ultimately tragic, bond with the mortal Nicholas, his childhood friend, who becomes obsessed with the dark side of vampire existence. Lestat turns Nicholas into a vampire in an attempt to save their friendship, but Nicholas is unable to find peace and ultimately succumbs to madness, destroying himself. As the story continues, we learn about Lestat's creator, Amel, who is not a vampire but a spirit that became fused with Akasha when she was turned into a vampire by an evil spirit possessing the body of her dead husband, the King Enkil. This fusion gave birth to the curse of vampirism, propagating through the blood of anyone Akasha or her progeny drained and converted. Amel represents the source of power and the vampiric connection known as the Dark Gift, which allows vampires to communicate telepathically and share their strengths. Lestat confronts the challenges of isolation and the search for meaning in his eternal life, all the while reflecting on the complexities of morality, power, and the nature of evil. His love for humanity and his refusal to see himself as a purely evil creature prompts him to question and often reject the self-loathing that Armand and many other vampires feel about their existence. He is instead exhilarated by the vast range of experiences that being both supernatural and immortal allows him to partake in. Through his story, Lestat grows from a reckless nobleman to a vampire with a greater understanding of his place in the world and the nature of the dark gift he has received. His tale encompasses passion, despair, rebellion, and above all, a vampire's eternal quest for self-discovery.
Lestat's comprehensive attitude towards the vampire mythos contrasts sharply with the melancholic and regretful tones set by Louis in Interview with the Vampire. The vampire Lestat sets the stage for greater conflict and exploration of vampiric society in the subsequent novels of The Vampire Chronicles. By the end of the book, Lestat has established himself not only as a central figure in vampire lore, but also as a complex character struggling with his dual nature, monster and philosopher, predator and artist. His charisma and amorality challenge both human and vampire readers to reevaluate their perceptions of good and evil, and his story continues to influence the broad tapestry of the vampire narrative in popular culture. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.